Meanwhile, rival Telco M1 is in damage control mode. CEO Karen Coy said and sent, sent a text message to M1 customers this afternoon apologizing for the disruption to mobile services yesterday. However, the disruption has clearly placed M1 under scrutiny once again. In a posting on his Facebook page today, Minister for Communications and Information Jakob Ibrahim expressed dismay, as dismay at the latest disruption. He says the Infocom Development Authority will be carrying out an investigation. And with Singtel users also experiencing intermittent access to 3G and 4G services today, the minister has called on mobile operators to improve in the way they update and assist their customers when disruptions occur.